Well, thanks for being with us here today. Thanks for thanks. having us. And why is that important to you both to, to do that evangelization? It's so hard to describe. And the feeling that you get knowing how important Christ is and that he's always with you. And um, someone dear to me was at Adoration not too long ago. And they have someone they care very much about. And she said she was in tears. And she said, I could not believe that they don't understand how beautiful this is, how much Jesus is a part of us. And it's true. It's like, how do you get someone to understand that? They need to experience it. They need to experience it every day, um, but they also need to experience it in church. Mm -hmm. So it just became important to share with people how beautiful it is to be part of the body of Christ. So what, what is it that you do do to encourage them? Is it the way you live your life? Is it just, you know, one Some of it is just, but we also talk about, you know, the music is really beautiful. Just the, uh, some of the aesthetic as aspects, you know. Um, you know, we'd love for you to come to dinner. You know, come, a lot of times what we'll do is the midnight mass is big for us um, or Easter vigil, either one. We like to go to the, the night, the evening masses mm -hmm. for that. But um, we'll have... Um, snacks or dessert mm -hmm. after church. Mm -hmm. Come to the house after mm -hmm. church, you know. Just kind of to coax them along a little bit and want them to ask questions or say, because the, the, right after, it's, it's almost like every year right afterwards, they think about it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to come back. Just ask them again the next time around. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think with me, had somebody really tried to push me when I was away, I might have pushed me further away. But the fact that I just had left I know that some people just need that gentle, you know, come on, then we'll have dessert afterwards. We'll have some wine, we'll have some dessert afterwards. And, and like, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I think I'd like to come again. Sure, how about next Sunday? <laughs> they don't always make it, but, you know, and they kind of maybe fall off a little bit as time goes by, but you just keep trying. How have your lives been changed by your participation in all the ministries that you're involved in here? I don't know, I feel more fulfilled. Um, I was emptier before. I feel filled up when, when I'm doing something and I see I've accomplished something. or And it's so funny, too. I, I guess my son answered for me, and, I, and it was my moment of when I felt like I'd done something right. He helped me with one of the projects that Rebecca had assigned as, or asked me to do as far as helping somebody with something. And he turned to the person and said, thanks for letting us come help you in your house. It's like that's that's what I that's the way I feel, and I couldn't believe he turned and said that on his own, and that kind of made that's the way I feel, you know. Thanks for letting me into your house to be able to do something for you, and he said it, and I just was floored that he turned around and said it without any prompting. So it's like, well, that's that's what I want. That's what I've been trying to do. I don't know. I think we've had so many struggles, um, little things and big things, and um, I think. Everywhere you look, there's a little bit of your faith journey, journey every time. It's amazing. So that's probably the strongest thing, that everywhere I look, there's a little bit of God 